Hello everyone, in this video you are going to learn CSS minimum and maximum width and height properties. Okay, so we can use the width and height properties to define an element's size. In other words, how big or small an element will be. For example, let's define a div in our body and give a class named as box, for example. And now, let's define our box classes uh, style here and give a background color of red for example okay so we cannot see our box in our page because its width and height uh, properties are zero by default so in order to see that now I need to define its width a 50 pixels and to define its height also has 50 pixels and now it appears here on the screen. So that's how we can use width and height properties with CSS. So next, we will have a look on how to use maximum and minimum width. Okay, so we have a basic website on the right side of the screen with an image and some text here. It looks actually pretty bad and now I would like to tidy it up. Firstly, what we can do is that um, taking all of these HTML tags here inside a container. So I'm giving a div and a class of a container as a parent element. And now I am taking all of these elements inside the container. Now let's give the container some rules. First of all, let's define its, its width as 800 pixels. And now, let's define the image and give its width as 100% and let's see what happens. So the image gets a lot smaller and better because it's inside of a container now, which has a width of 800 pixels and the image has 100% of width, which means that it takes the full width of its parent element as its container here and it looks a lot better. To see the container better, I will give its background a light so we can see where it actually is. Okay, and now we can see the container inside our body element. But there is a little problem here. If I make the screen smaller, everything disappears because it has a width, our, co our container has a width of 800 pixels and it doesn't get, get smaller. This is actually a, not a good approach in today's modern websites. We actually have now a responsive design, which means that each website should be compatible with any kind of devices, because there are now tablets and phones and iPads, you know, and uh, the websites also should be visible and they should look nice um, at each kind of each kind of devices. So what we can do here is that rather than using fixed size widths, we can define them as percentage. For example, I'm giving the container percentage of 90%. So it takes the 90% width of its parent as body element here. And now if I make it smaller, everything also gets smaller. This is actually a better approach rather than using fixed size uh, widths. But in some point, when we have a very big size of a screen, for example, our client decides that this doesn't look very nice. And now what we can do here is that using giving our container, let's make it smaller, first um, giving our container a maximum width of 800 pixels. Okay. And um, I will also align it in the center with the margin zero auto, we use this to align uh, elements in the center and now our container looks very nice aligned in the center with a maximum width of 800 pixels. So what does it mean? What does a maximum width mean? It means that the width of our element cannot be bigger than 800 pixels. So if our screen gets smaller, the container will also get smaller, but if it gets bigger than 800 pixels, 
then it doesn't get bigger anymore and just stays in the center. So that's how we can use the maximum width property. So now let's see how the minimum width works. Now I will change the container's maximum width property to a minimum width, which means that our container class will have a minimum width of 800 pixels and cannot be smaller than it. So when, this time, if I collapse the website, it gets smaller until 800 pixels, but after that, it remains the same. Why is that? Because now our container has a minimum width of 800 pixels and cannot get smaller than it. And as a result, the 90%, the percentage of the width, doesn't apply for our container class anymore. So that's actually all about you need to know about minimum and maximum width. Next, we will have a look on minimum and maximum height. So like we did for the width property, we can also give a maximum or a minimum value for the height property. What I here shortly mention about height is that since the container class, since the container div has children here, we actually didn't define a height for the container because it gets automatically its its uh, children's height and then uh, has a, a height. So we don't need to define a height actually. But if it needs to be defined, I can give, for example, a height of a 500 pixels for our container and watch now what happens to the white background. I'm saving it and the white background disappeared. The container has now a smaller height property actually. So that's why now the paragraphs here and a part of the image is outside of the container because it doesn't have enough space to see it. There is actually a little trick I also want to show. So if I give an overflow here of a hidden, we will see that the part which can the part which is outside of the container it can be hidden like that. Or I can change it to a scroll so we can just scroll it outside so this is also an approach that you can use like we did uh, like I assigned the height property to 500 pixels I can also give a minimum height property of 500 pixels and let's delete it I will give a much more actually like 1200 okay and now our container has a minimum height of 1200 pixels which means that there is actually enough space here so even if there isn't any children the height property will get minimum of 1200 pixels. However, if I change it to a maximum height, again, like a 500 pixels, this time our container will have again a maximum height of 500 pixels and cannot be larger than it. So again, the children, the paragraphs, will stay out of the uh, container. So that's actually all you should know about uh, width and height properties. I hope you find the video uh, useful and if you like the video, please share it, subscribe or like. Thank you for watching and see you next time.